Alright, so I got another Liquid Crystal video for you guys again today. Uh, it's been a while, as I always seem to say that, because it has been a while, because I'm always busy, and I'm sorry, and I know someone's gonna say, post more, damn it, but, you know what? Sorry. Anyway, so last time, as you recall, we went to this basement because Team Rock is down here, because I don't remember. Oh yeah, because they took over the radio tower, and this is where they stashed the real director. Um, and we have to go save him. So this is Eradicate, which is actually not bad, because I have stoned, and stoned resist uh, pretty much all of his normal attacks, and I can go for a Rock Smash to lower his defense. It's also super effective, although it's probably still weaker than, um, much, much weaker than Rock Slide, so whatever, let's go for it again. I should be able to 3-KO it if I can get another defense drop, even if I don't, actually. But I do, so, um, yeah, now it should be a definite 3-KO. And he's gonna use Pursuit and get two critical hits in a row, meaning I'm down to red health, and that is actually unfortunate. So, um, yeah, I'm almost level 37. Here comes a Graveler, and I, uh, just fight this with Dustbuster, because Dustbuster has Surf, and Surf is X4 effective against Gravelers. As you may or may not know. Actually, you probably do know. Because, uh, if you're watching this video, you probably know something about Pokemon, and if that's the case, you know what type Graveler is, and what it's weak to, and maybe you don't, but if you don't, well, it's X4 weak to water. There you go. Pro tip. So, Dustbuster's trying to learn Follow Me, and that's a pretty, uh, terrible move, so it's never going to learn it. So, um... Anyway, let's uh, heal up my uh, stones, because stone still wants to be like level 37, and it's not, so pretty much have to do that if I ever want to get it to level 37. So um, here's a max ether, kind of a useful item, but uh, not at the moment. I'm not going to use it now, obviously. Probably save it for an incredibly tough fight, as I do with most of my uber-powered items. So uh, this person has a single Grimer, and that's uh, rather whatever. Let's see how much a Rock Slide does. It's probably going to be uh, 2 hit KO. That's not terrible. Oh, no, no, it's not going to be 2 hit KO, because apparently he decides to use Acid Armor. It'd be annoying. And um, let's see how much it does. No, it doesn't kill. That sucks. And he's going to use another Acid Armor. And um, anyone who's bit played Liquid Crystal enough knows that um, pretty much everybody has items in this game. So I'm just going to switch out, because I knew he was going to use a Hyper Potion heal completely. So, um, now that he has plus four defense, I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Ball, since that's a special move in Liquid Crystal. I know I keep saying this, but sometimes I think people don't watch previous videos and just jump right into the most current one. Um, for those who don't know, in Liquid Crystal, yes, it's a Gen 3 hack, but, um, the hackers actually included the Gen 4 special physical split, so Shadow Ball is a special move, which is what I needed to fight that Grimer, because it had plus two, or it had two Acid Armors, aka plus four defense, and I wasn't gonna, obviously, do much to it with a physical move. Anyway, so, um, now that, uh, my stone is level 37, I'm gonna switch out the front member of my parte because I always like to put, like, the lowest levels in the front, because they get the most experiences. Um... And that uh, lowest level happens to be Ginger Carp, who's a Gyarados, without a water move at this point, I believe. Yep, still doesn't know a water move. Uh, it might have less than 80 hit points, because it's under-evolved, or pre-evolved, so let's just go for a um, Dragon Rage, and I'm not really sure. It might have 80 exactly, or maybe, a, like, one more HP. It might have 81. I'll be mad if it has 81. Um, yeah, it has 81. That sucks. Uh, Dragon Rage is an attack that always does 40 damage, so if it has less than 80 hit points, it's a 2-hit KO on ev anything, pretty much, but, well, anything that has less than 80 hit points. But, unfortunately, this coughing seems to have 81, and he's going to use an item. Um, as I kept saying, they do have these items, and they'll usually only have, like, one, so it's whatever gets to, like, red health first they'll use it on, but you can actually predict when they're going to use them and switch out, for example, like I just did. Uh, because I know Kissy can 1-hit KO them, and you know what, even though Kissy's level 38, I'm just going to let it kill this other coughing, because, um, I don't really spend... I don't really feel like spending a whole bunch of time killing a coughing when I can just want to KO it with Kissy. So Grunt is defeated, and um, he got disposed of because he was trying to dispose me. That's kind of weird, but whatever. So there's a TM35 Sleep Talk. Pretty useless in-game. I mean, obviously it has competitive uses, some competitive use. I still think it's more of a gimmick move than anything else, but um, yeah, it's not really useful for an in-game playthrough unless you have rest, but even then, you know, kind of meh. But, uh, so there's the real director. He gave me the card key, so which means I can, uh, go fight the rocket boss. There's a rare candy down here. Oh, because we're in the, uh, basement of the, um, supermart, you know? And there's a potion, and there's some two items over there I don't think I can get to. And let's see if I can reset the room by switching in and out. Yeah, no. I mean, I know in Gold, Silver, Crystal you have to, like, wait a day or something for it to change, like, the, um, you know, the, uh, rooms uh, where the boxes are, or something like that. Sometimes in Liquid Crystal things are a little bugged. You can just go in and out to refresh things. But I guess that's not the case right now. Um, what should I... What am I doing? Oh, I'll, let's use that rare candy. Yeah. Um, and I'll use it on stone, because stone just leveled, and you always want to use... I mean, I, I don't... Most people should uh, probably keep rare candies for later, since um, they're more useful at later levels when it's harder to level, but 
Um, during a playthrough, I just never feel like collecting rare candies. I just use them instantly because, you know, that's kind of weird and cheap. I don't know. I just use the item when I get it. And you should always use it on a Pokemon that just level or just evolved because it always um, resets your experience to the lowest amount of the next level. So if you use it on a Pokemon that's like two experience away, it's kind of a waste. Just a side note, that's why I'm using it on um, my stone because I know it just evolved, or just leveled. Okay, so this is Eradicate, and um, yeah, I can kill Eradicates pretty easily due to my Intimidate and the fact that, um, yeah, that lowers their attack. Plus, I do kind of want to kill uh, Raticates a lot on Ginger Carp, just because um, I know Raticates give attack EVs, and EV training doesn't really matter in a playthrough, but it's still kind of nice if I can get some uh, good attack EVs on Ginger Carp, because, you know, it's such a reliant on its uh, regular attack stat. Um, so this is a Voltorb, and uh, let's just go for Strength. I don't actually, I mean, I do have uh, Mud Slap. Aside from that, I don't really have a ground move on this team. Hopefully that'll change when I get the Earthquake TM, uh, which I believe is in Victory Road in this game. I believe it is, so we have still have to wait a little while to get a ground move, but um, until then, I don't really have anything with super effective electric types, which I think is probably one of my biggest weaknesses on this team I'm using, is that I don't have a uh, good out to electric types, but whatever. Um, I can deal with them still. So here comes uh, Rocket Grunt, a female one, and she has an Ekans, and she believes her Pokemon are cute when they beat mine. But I don't think that'll happen, so I guess her Pokemon aren't cute. In any event, we're both intimidate each other, and um, let's see if Dragon Rage can 2-it KO this. And yeah, that that looks like it has less than 80. Slightly less than 80, but either way, it's a 2-it KO. And she's going to lower my defense, but I don't think she's going to survive my Dragon Rage, so there you go. See, that's the, that's, that's the good thing about Dragon Rage. It always does 40, so it's kind of useful early-ish game. I mean, it's probably be more useful if I, you know, had it early, much earlier, but it can still 2-it KO things as long as it's under-evolved, uh, typically. It needs less than 80 hit points, basically. I mean, if I was, you know, trying to do this right, I'd probably have Smogan up and see what their base HPs are and see what I can and can't, whatever. Who actually wants to do all that in a playthrough? So anyway, that's a uh, Oddish, and that's just going to get burninated, and, um, yeah, let's go into Kissy to fight this uh, Ekans, because Kissy's the be easiest thing to fight these uh, Ekans, because, you know, poison and stuff. As I keep mentioning, I don't have a ground move, so I do have Psychic, and that should help against these poisons. Actually, Kissy is, uh, as you might notice, you might remember from last video, leveled quite a few times. That's why it's uh, level 38 and everything else is not, uh, because there is so many poison types in Team Rocket, because they love poison types for no reason. Um, so here's a Gloom, and I'm just going to overkill with overheat, because that's how I roll. I am done with you, Gloom. Mwahaha. That was an overkill. I probably could have just killed it with flame, th uh, flame Wheel. But that's not quite as fun. So yeah, your Pokemon are useless. It's good that you finally come to your senses. And uh, that person wants Meowth to help her, because she's like one of the people held captive because she does a radio show, and Meowth's like, Meowth? Yeah, I don't think Meowth is going to help you. Probably like a level 5 Meowth, too. Uh, not going to do much to those Team Rockets. Although I'm surprised Team Rocket hasn't stolen the Pokemon, actually. Just kind of chilling there. Easy to steal. Okay, so here's a Golbat. And uh, Golbats are annoying. I surprised out sped it, actually. And that doesn't actually do too much with Thrash. But it might be a 3 KO if I can get the third Thrash off. Um, thrash is a move that uh, attacks two to three times in a row. Um, means you can't switch out. But after the two to three times, you get confused. And it looks like I'm only going to get it two times. That sucks, and I'm confused, and I don't really feel like risking it because I always have the worst luck with confusion. Uh, so let's just go out into death to finish it off. I don't, I mean, besides air cutter, I don't think it has anything to do to death. And um, yeah, Shadow Ball should finish it off at this point, and it does. Good job, death. And um, I'm get decent experience on two Pokemon. So apparently the fortress went down because he was the Team Rocket Fortress. I guess that's his nickname, being that he's a executive. So this person is like, do you remember me from the Team Rocket hideout? I'm like, no, because you look like every other female member of Team Rocket, as a matter of fact. Um, but she has an Onyx, and this would be good for me, except I don't have a water move on Ginger Carp yet. Which um, probably I'm going to teach at Waterfall, since it's physical in this game, being that they have this physical special split. And I get that in an Ice Path, which should be this... No, should be next video... No, maybe the one after, because, yeah, there's an event, there's a crystal on liquid crystal-only event that's coming up in between this and Ice Path. Something to get your mouth watering. Oh, yeah, liquid crystal exclusive content. So, yeah, anyway. This guy doesn't want me to interfere with his plans, but that's what I do. I interfere with plans of Team Rocket because they're weak and I can. Um, so here's a Houndour. It's a kind of cool Pokemon, Dark Fire, and... Um, yeah, it's kind of weak, so I should be able to maybe should be able to 2 it with Thrash. 
Um, actually, probably not, because he's probably going to use an item. Uh, yeah, because he's like red, red health. I mean, he's probably going to use an item. He's just going to use Odor Sleuth, which is nothing. Hopefully, I'll get the third Thrash, because I'm going to need the third Thrash in order to finish off this Hound Hour. Um, if I don't, then I'll be sad. And um, let's see if I can get a third Thrash this time. And no, I do not. I'm confused again. Lovely. Let's just try to kill it anyway. And I'm gonna hurt myself in my confusion, and that sucks, and he's gonna roar, so I guess that's cool because I just get switched. I get a free switch, there you go. Um, and I know that I'm not confused anymore on this thing. Um, I don't even know why I'm bothered switching back out to Ginger Carp. I probably. No, I. I don't know. Ice. The ice move probably would have finished it off, but I wanna risk it. Plus, the Hound Hour probably outspeed. Might outspeed Jinx, I'm not sure. Uh, so. And that Ember would have probably not even that hurt that badly, even with the super effective, but whatever! I'm just going to Dragon Rage to kill it, because it always does 40, and that thing obviously has less than 40. So here comes a Hound Doom! And, um, how much Doom could a Hound Doom Doom if I could ha- a ha <laughs> blah, I messed up. How much Doom could a Hound Doom Doom if a Hound Doom could Hound Doom? That's the real question. Uh, apparently quite a lot, because it just used Faint Attack and it did a decent chunk of damage. But I'm just going to uh, lower its accuracy with my Mud Slap, because that's a pretty cool attack. And he's going to Smog, which will probably poison me, knowing my luck. And, oh uh, look, it did poison me. And uh, let's go for another Mud Slap. So now it has minus two accuracy at least, and I can switch out. Um, I guess I could just keep in Dust Buster and heal up and also remove my poison, but that's too much work. I'm just going to switch. Uh, let's go out into Stones, because uh, Stone can resist uh, fire pretty well. And I think his uh, Bite slash Crunch, I'm not really sure what it has at this point, but I, I have good defense, so that's good. Uh, let's go for a Rock Slide that is super effective, and that is a dead Hound Doom. And um, let's see what his last Pokemon is. I think. Oh, it's a Coughing. I thought there was another Hound Hour. Yeah, whatever. Guess he can easily dispense of Coughings. Um, because they're just coughing all the time. I mean, they're already kind of sick. You just kind of finish it off by confusing it. Ha ha! Die, you old Coughing. Dead Coughing. And it looks like I defeated the uh, Team Rocket boss. Hooray! Team Rocket should be disbanded again. Forgive me, Giovanni, he says. Aha. Uh -huh. Your dream came to naught or something, and yep. And you're gonna disband Team Rocket. Good for you. I'm glad. Because Team Rocket's jerks. Alright, so thank you for the Soothe Bell. This is just some random artifact. I mean, you could have given me like thousands of millions of dollars for saving everything, but whatever. Apparently, something's happening at the Tin Tower, but you know what? I don't really care about the Tin Tower right now. I want to get to Ice Path. I don't know why, even though, because I pretty much already told you that there's something I have to do before Ice Path, but I'm going to go to Ice Path because that's what everyone else would do in this situation. No one would check out the stupid Tin Tower. Although, anyone who's played Crystal knows what's coming at Tin Tower, obviously. Or somewhat what's coming. Somewhat of what's coming, I should say. Dustbuster fainted. I didn't really want to waste a item to heal it. I know I'm a jerk, but I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center right now anyway. Um, so yeah, there's not much point to healing Dustbuster. As much as I love Dustbuster, and I feel bad about it, but, eh, whatever. So, I just got a TM for, uh, Sleep Powder, which is, um, as I recall, a pretty broken move in Liquid Crystal. Um, because I think it's one of those moves that have a messed up learn set, so pretty much everyone can learn it. So let's, uh, see who can learn in my team. Um, oh, only Kissy. That's weird, because I could have sworn that Gengar learned it in one of my previous playthroughs that I played in my own time. But I guess maybe they fixed it. They mixed, uh, they must have fixed the Sleep Powder learn set. Although, Kissy can still learn it. I don't know if Kissy should be able to learn Sleep Powder. But I actually have the, uh, Kissing move that has the same accuracy, so, um, that also puts things to sleep. So I don't really need to learn, um... Yeah, Sleep Powder, so I guess it's kind of useless. I could have sworn Gengar could learn it in Liquid Crystal, but I guess they fixed that bug. Which is actually kind of broken when Gengar learns uh, Sleep Powder, because it's so much more accurate than Hypnosis. And, um, yeah, I don't have a Flyer in my team, keep forgetting that, uh, so I have to use Spiro because, yeah, it's the only Flyer I got. So, let's just go for Fly. One of these days, I think I'm going to replace one of my team with a Flyer, but I don't really know who yet or who I want. Actually, I... I, um, I might use a certain Pokemon that I know that I get in Liquid Crystal as part of the story um, as my flyer, but I don't know who I'd get rid of for that. I'd have to think about it. Maybe I won't do it. I'm not sure. I, I'm just very indecisive at this point. I know I said I had a flyer picked out, but then the more I thought about it, you know, the less I wanted to use it. I don't know. Uh, and Gyarados is a flyer, of course, but it doesn't actually fly. It's a flying type. So, um, let's beat all the trainers on this route, because they're there. Psychic Phil has a Nat 2, which I should be able to easily dispense with Ginger Carp, because I have Bite, which is a Dark-type move and super effective. And, uh, yeah, let's go for a Bite, and, um, that'll one-hit KO this stupid little Nat 2. Hooray! 
And here comes a Kadabra, which also won't like being bitten because Bite is a physical move in this game, and um, it's also weak to it, and Kadabra is low defense. And it goes first, hits me with a Psychic, which does an annoying amount of damage, but I am able to kill it, so there, take that, Psychic Phil. Kind of funny that a Psychic has a name Phil because it both a P, I know, but it's kind of amusing. You look strong. Good trainers seek tough opponents, instinctively. And I guess that makes you a good trainer, except you're not really, probably going to be easily defeated. So here comes a Butterfree. And uh, Butterfree's a fully evolved Pokemon that evolves at level 10, so, um, yeah. Butterfree's uh, and uh, Beedrills in uh, Gen 1. Always kind of like using them early game, but then they become so underwhelming late game. Um, although they're really strong early game on, on, the, on that side of it. But, um, yeah, this Butterfree is not very strong, and it's dead. So now my Ginger Carp is level 38, and her second Pokemon is a Blossom, which is um, an evolved form of Gloom. It can either evolve into Vileplume or Blossom. I forget, is it Sunstone? I think it's the Sunstone that evolves into Blossom. And if you give it a Leaf Stone, it evolves into Vileplume. But I'm not a hun I think that's how it works. Either way, it tries to stun sport and misses because it's being a jerk, and now I'm just going to Burninate it to death because Burninator just Burninates these grass types. This is how it works. And now Burninator's level 38. Good job, Burninator. And I just beat it Cybill. That's a weird name. Kind of like Cyborg. Maybe she's like a Cyborg or Cy Alien or something. Sorry if her name's Cybill. Is that a real name? Someone can leave a comment. I don't even know if that's a real name. Someone just made that up. I don't know. It sounds weird, though. Um, so here's Fisher Ed. That's a good name for a Fisher. And, um,. He has a Remoraid, which uh, is interesting. I'm just going to go for a Strength, because why not? It's uh, stabbed and almost kills it, unfortunately. He's going to use an item to heal, which means it'll be a uh, 2 at KO now, because, um, yeah, he just wasted his item, and I'm still going to use Strength, and... Oh, I killed it, so it must have been, like, a min damage thing the first time, or maybe a max damage thing the second time. I'm not sure. Either way, I like killing it one hit, and here's another Remoraid. Will I kill this one in one hit? Yeah, I do! Yay! Good job, Dustbuster! I think Dustbuster is getting me back for letting it faint earlier, so it just decided to do min damage that one attack. You jerk, Dustbuster. I mean, I know, I know I shouldn't let you die and things, but whatever. So this guy says he's good at Pokemon too, and we'll just see about that. Cool trainer, Alan. And he has a Charmeleon as his only Pokemon. And, um, let's go for a Surf since it's super effective. And let's see what this good Pokemon trainer does. He's gonna go for a Smoke Screen. Lowers my accuracy, not bad, and I miss, see? That, that's a decent move. Now he's going to lower my uh, speed for some reason. Uh, that's kind of pointless, though, because you know I have, uh, and he's going to lower my speed again. No, you're not good. I'm sorry, dude. I was going to, see, I was trying to help you, you know, save the viewers how good you are, but you're just not good. I mean, why would you use Scary Face twice? That's just silly. Whatever, Dustbuster's uh, level 38, so you lose, sir. Maybe you should learn Pokemon's better, jerk. Get out of here, scrub. Man, I just called them a bunch of names. I'm a mean person sometimes. I can be a sore winner, I admit it. So, um, here's an Ultra Ball. And, um, yeah, here comes a guy who wants to attack me because he'll do anything for rare Pokemon, even dress like a Charmeleon. You're poking, you're an annoying cosplayer nerd, dude. I'm sorry, I'm, I just can't, I can't reconcile that. Go for a Shadow Ball, kill his Rhyhorn, which is not even a rare Pokemon. I guess, no, I guess it is, because it's, uh, I think in the first game is only found in Safari Zone. I don't know if it even is in Liquid Crystal. Well, I know it, Liquid, it's in Liquid Crystal. I don't know if it's in Astro, in Gold Silver Crystal. Uh, it might be, no, I think you can find it in certain caves. Yeah, Victory Road, I bet you can. But it, it's a, it's a rarish Pokemon, okay? So, there you go. So you do have a semi-rare. Okay, so here's Goldeen, and I'm just going to zap it to death with my God of Death. And, um, yeah, even though it's not raining, though, that would be pretty awesome if it was raining, because, of course, then, uh, Thunder would have 100% accuracy, and wouldn't miss like that. But then again, she misses with, or he misses with Supersonic, and, um, I can get a Thunder off this time. And I think his third Pokemon, if memory serves, is a Sea King. The evolved form, and it is a Sea King. Man, my memory is actually not bad for once. And uh, Sea King will get zapped to death by Thunder as well. Despite being evolved, it's still very, very weak to electric. So, there's that. And, uh, yeah, death in that level 38. Because my god of death is epic. <laughs> and he was like, just forget about it, because I made him miss his Poliwag. He was trying to catch a Poliwag to add to his Pokemon team, which would still make his Pokemon team worthless, I think. Oh well, so this person's like, do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Like, as a matter of fact, I do. I don't think they're in this game. No, I think they are. Or at least one of them is, so far. I know he's planning to add all three of them, but I think one of them is definitely in the game so far. But I forget, it's, a. Uh, I won't spoil it, but... Yeah, they are somewhat in this game. One of them, I know for sure, is in this game. Um, so there's another Pidgeotto. I guess I could go into Jinx, but Jinx is already level 39, so I'll just let Death kill it. 
and um, getting pretty lucky. I only missed with one thunder. That's actually, I'll, I'll consider that a victory. Um, and uh, death is level 38, and I probably should finish this. But you know what, guys? I haven't played Liquid Crystal in a while. I'm going to fight Zane, one of my rivals, and I'm probably going to go overtime. It's probably going to last another five minutes. So, see, overtime video because I I've been neglecting to post. So I do care about you guys. So let's go for a sludge bomb against this Porygon. It's stabbing, um, it's stabbing stuff, and this should be a 2 hit KO. Side beam will sting, but um, yeah, it stings. Doesn't actually do half. It does a little under half. So there you go. And that is a dead Porygon, and I'm now level 39. So that makes me happy. And I'm trying to learn Destiny Bond, but I don't really feel like learning Destiny Bond. I like my current move set. Although Destiny Bond definitely has its uses. I just don't like having to give up my Pokemon to kill another. Okay, so here comes a Houndoom. I fought another one um, earlier. The uh, Team Rocket Boss had one, so let's go for a Mud Slap just to lower its accuracy because I don't like accuracy. It's mean, and he's going to roar me away, and um, now I'm into Ginger Carp, which would be nice if I had Waterfall at this point, but I don't, which is sad. So um, now I'm going to Nom Nom my leftovers, and here comes a Flamethrower, but it misses thanks to my... Um, thanks to my Mud Slap, and Thrash is going to be a 2 KO if he doesn't uh, heal, which would be annoying, and he does not heal, he's just going to go for a Crunch, which does a little bit more damage, but thankfully my Intimidate made it not so bad. So, um, now his next Pokemon is the Annoying Umbreon. The most annoying thing in the game in Liquid Crystal is this Umbreon, because it, oh, every battle is just so annoying. Um, so let's go into Stoned. I want to lower its defense. It's going to Wish, which means pretty much all the damage I'm going to do with so like, right now is just going to be negated. Although, if I can get some defense drops, this will be a lot easier. So, there's one defense drop, and I just go for it again, and... No, minus two defense, so that's uh, not quite as bad. He's going to get his Wish. He's going to try to use it again because he's stupid, but um, he's going to get that Wish off, and now he's going to confuse me, which is lame, because I'm probably going to end up hurting myself, because I always seem to hurt myself in my confusion, and... You know, when I was actually, uh, I was playing, um, what was it, Black and White, I think, the other day, and I confused my opponent, and, um, he hit through five confusions and then, you know, snapped out, and I'm like, wow, I'm never gonna use like, another confusion move, because I have the worst luck with confusion. <sighs> so now I'm poisoned, because this thing apparently is toxic, and that's annoying, and there's that. And if you've been wondering what I've been doing recently, aside from work and all that stuff, I've been uh, currently playing other games. I finished Pokemon Conquest, I unlocked everything, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much done with that game. Very good game, I would recommend it. But now I'm actually playing Borderlands 2, as well as FTL Faster Than Light. Which, if you haven't played, or haven't heard of FTL Faster Than Light, I would highly recommend it. It's the most, it's the most addicting indie game I think I've ever played, that includes Minecraft and Terraria. Um, really a lot of fun. It's like, uh, I, how do I describe it? It's like Oregon Trail in space with weapons and boarding parties and fun things like that. If you, uh, haven't heard of it, just check it out on YouTube, uh, FTL. Search it. Uh, I really enjoy it, especially if you're into, like, um, simulation and, um, micromanagement games and also a fan of, um, space and video spaceships and things like that. Of course, this Umbreon is going to use Hyper Potion, which is just annoying, and um, Strength is still not doing decent damage. I think if I got one more defense drop, Strength would be a 2 hit KO, but I don't. And I'm just going to go for another Mud Slap, because it would be really annoying if he hits me with a Confuse Ray or a Toxic, and of course he hits with Confuse Ray anyway. And I'm going to switch out, because I just know if I don't, I'm just going to hurt myself in my confusion. So, what's the point of even trying to stay in? Let's go out into Stoned, because I do actually kind of want to get another defense drop on this Umbreon. Um, so here comes a Wish, and uh, so now I know that all this damage is pointless, but maybe if I can... Okay, a third defense drop means that um, Strength, I believe, on my Dust Bush is a 2 at KO. But I'm just going to keep staying with Stone for now, uh, trying to get more defense drops, although that one didn't get a defense drop, it just did... Da pointless damage, because now he just healed it all. Great. And he's gonna confuse me. So, um, yeah. Looks like I'm switching out next turn, because I'm probably gonna hurt myself this turn. Yep. I totally called it. I mean, why would I be able to attack through confusion? That's the real question. And so, this Umbreon just wastes like three minutes. Man, this friggin' annoying Umbreon. So here comes a uh, faint attack, which does nothing really, and I'm just going to go for another Mud Slap to make sure it can't hit me with Toxic. There we go, Miss Toxic, that helps. And let's go for a Strength, because that should be a 2 KO, and it looked to be, and now he hits me with Toxic, of course. He has, like, what, th negative 3 er, uh, accuracy, and he still hits. Uh, with a move that, without perfect, 
perfect accuracy to begin with, mind you. Whatever. Um, here comes Breloom, the evolved form of a Shroomish. Remember, he had a Shroomish last time, now he has a Breloom, which is kind of broken, but whatever. Um, I should be able to burn it pr fairly easily. I don't think it sur it'll survive a Flame Wheel, and it does not, although it does crit. I don't think it mattered. Breloom's defenses are kind of bad. So, and his last Pokemon is a Lapras, which is also kind of annoying due to the high special defense. I doubt I'll actually be able to kill it with Thunder, but it should do decent enough damage that I can uh, finish it off with something else. So let's see how much Thunder does, and Thunder is going to nearly kill it. Well, it'll just do over half, not nearly kill. Now I'm confused, so I'm going to switch out because I don't like being confused, because being confused is bad for me, because I always hurt myself. So what's the point of even trying? And he's going to sing, but he's going to miss. So that's good. Sing has a pretty bad accuracy. And Ice Beam shouldn't kill me. Oh, God, that was close. One HP survive. Epic survive for the win. Eat it, Zane, and your stupid, annoying Umbreon. He's like, that's it. I'm like, what? So he's be apparently become a completely different person since losing me. He's become obsessed with defeating me. Kind of a sad story, man. You probably should, you know, not... Get out more, man. It's, it's not worth it getting all worked up. I'm just better than you. So apparently Ice Path is closed because things are happening. Um, and something terrible is going on with Tin Tower, so I guess I have to go there anyway. And it's starting to rain everywhere, and apparently that's bad because then Johto will be flooded. Yeah, that does sound bad, so I'll do that next video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye, people.